Welcome to Dakota Hill Art Studio. I'm Katie Smith. Today I want to show you how to buff a waxed watercolor. This painting is a small four inch by six inch watercolor painting on cellulose paper that's been mounted onto a wood panel. And I have done one coat of wax and buffed it and done a second coat of wax and now I'm ready to buff the second coat. I wanted to show you the texture that's on this. If I lean it forward, you can see with the light shining right across the edge of it. You can see the little bit of a texture that there is to the wax from when I applied it. I like to apply my wax by going in small circles and it ends up with just the slightest little bit of, of texture to it which I really love. Uh, it gives it some character. Right now, the finish is not shiny. Let me lay it down so you can see how little gloss there is to it right now. Not much sheen at all on this. I'm gonna go ahead and buff it and you'll be able to see how the sheen changes on it as I buff this second coat of wax. I'm just gonna go in small circles. Okay, all around the whole painting. Some people like to use a power tool for this. A little Dremel tool with a soft buffing disc on it. I've never done that, but I can see why someone might want to, especially if you're doing a bunch of these in a row. Uh, it's pretty tiring. <laughs> well, that's quite a sweat. It's just buffing my wax water down. Just my lighting here. Can see as I go, slide the light source back a little bit so you can see the sheen on it. I'll slide it over in a minute and show you how the side that's buffed looks compared to the side that's not buffed yet. Make sure you're using a soft cloth, and if there's any wax that starts to build up in the spot where you've been rubbing, um, it can make a, a build up of wax that'll create a line as you're going. So make sure that you're not gouging into your wax by getting build up on your cloth. And then keep moving around on the cloth to get a soft, soft area to work from. Let me show you. Now, that's the unbuffed side. You can see that there's not any sheen to it. And this is the buffed side. So I think it's pretty clear to see in the video. The difference between... Now, you don't have to buff your waxed watercolor. You can leave it with this matte finish, it's not gonna change the protection that the wax gives to the painting. It just changes the look of the painting itself um, as far as the gloss it has to it. So there you can see that the, the side that's been waxed is waxed and then polished or buffed. It's much more reflective of the light than the side that is not buffed yet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up. But that is how you do the buffing step for doing waxed watercolors. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about this, 
You can find me on Facebook at Katie Smith or Katie Smith Artist. I'm also on the web. My website is katiesmithartist.com. And I also run the Waxed Watercolors Facebook group. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks. Bye-bye.